According to police, Mathias Mpuga was today expected to appear before the police special investigations unit to answer to allegations on the comments he made during last week's rallies in Kampala. We are expecting Honorable Mpuga to appear, so for us we are still waiting for them. But according to Mpuga, he has not received any summons as alleged by police. I don't know uh, someone is over what. I wish I knew what they were about. Then I would have been able to appropriately respond. But as far as I know, I've not seen any summons from anybody. He said he would not appear at any police station in regards to the said charges, but advised the police to follow the law if it has any case against him. Instead of summoning me, they have a case. They then proceed to court and have him prosecuted. I don't simply attend to any form of uh, invitation. This is the second opposition leader this week to snub police summons after the Lord Mayor yesterday claimed that he had not received the summons. But the question is, what does it take for police to summon someone? We sought the mind of a legal expert on the matter. Police is mandated under the Constitution and the Police Act to investigate crimes. In so doing, the police can summon any individual to provide any information that they deem necessary for the investigation of a particular crime. The purpose of this is to determine if a crime has been committed. That is one sort of summons, and the courts have the power to summon a person either as a witness or as a person to help with the investigation. Any refusal to attend to this summons or orders to appear would be interpreted as disobeying a lawful order of police. And therefore, that individual can then be charged with disobeying uh, a lawful order under the Penal Code Act. As we wait to see whether Besiji will turn up at the Chileka Best Special Investigations Unit tomorrow as scheduled, Mpuga and Lukwago are likely to be charged with yet another case of disobeying lawful orders. Julius Senkandwa, NTV.